Welcome to today's webinar. I'm Mike Payne and your host for today is Jennifer Lang. Jennifer is an author, a speaker, and a licensed financial services professional who found her love for financial literacy the hard way. Her career goals were on track as she tackled the hustle and bustle of working in New York City as a corporate manager. That is, until life threw her a curveball that would change her direction. Her mother became ill and Jennifer only had one choice. She left New York and became her mother's full-time caregiver. It was during this 10-year period that Jennifer learned firsthand the importance of how life insurance protects an individual and a family while they are alive, as well as how having essential estate planning documents can empower family members and relieve burdens. She found a new passion and purpose to help the underserved middle class protect against the emotional, physical, and financial stresses of caring for their loved ones. Currently, she works with businesses and families in all 50 states to acquire business loans, life insurance, and annuities. She is contracted through One Resource Group, and you can contact her through her website, wfginsurancequotes.com. So, without further ado, Jennifer, take it away. Thanks, Mike. I'd like to welcome and thank everyone for attending today. My name's Jennifer Lang. And this webinar is being recorded and will be available for rebroadcast later on. So please submit all questions via our website, wfginsurancequotes.com, or you can email me at info at wfginsurancequotes.com. Tell me your name and where you're from, and I'll get those questions answered. Today's webinar is entitled, How to Use Life Insurance for Retirement Income. And as Mike mentioned, a person can either learn things the easy way or they can learn things the hard way. In my case, when my mom got sick, I learned things the hard way. I, like most people, thought that life insurance was just something you had in order to pay for a funeral. I didn't know that there were certain policies that could actually help you while you're alive. So I do these webinars and I speak to businesses and organizations because I want to help as many people as I can reach their hopes and dreams and avoid that financial learning curve that I went through. So let's jump in. When do you plan to retire? Seems like it would be an easy question to answer with a quick age related response or something along the lines of never or as soon as I can. In 2015, the National Association of Government Defined Contribution Administers chose two words to sum up the state of America's retirement funds. Those words were not ready. Americans seem to agree. Only 22% surveyed said they feel confident they'll have enough money during retirement. In fact, the majority of working households with workers nearing retirement age, age 55 to 64 years old, often had one worker with less than one year's income saved. The biggest challenge people will face is paying for their own health care. Only one in six employers offers their retirees health care and there are plenty of expenses Medicare does not cover. Over the next two decades, the average 65-year-old couple can expect to fork out up to $220,000 for their health care. And according to the National Institute on Retirement Security, the average U.S. household has saved only $2,500 for retirement. That's the average for all working age households. This amount goes up to $14,500 when looking only at households near retirement. These numbers can be a little scary. So we're going to take a look at a couple of strategies that can help you start to prepare. When you think about retirement, you are contemplating what your future might hold. To do this, you have to start with an overall objective, your ideal retirement. How do you picture it? To have a clear picture, you'll need to size up your current circumstances. 
Are you prepared and confident in being able to achieve your desired retirement? Analyze the decision areas that help or hinder your progress in achieving your chosen retirement lifestyle and make plans to prepare for your financial needs during retirement. The following video looks at how our thoughts on life insurance have changed. What about life insurance? One financial product that is often overlooked in retirement planning is life insurance. That's because over the years, many people have understood that life insurance is a financial tool with only one main purpose, to provide a spouse and children with cash to preserve their lifestyle if the worker dies prematurely. From this viewpoint, the purpose of life insurance is to replace the income that will be lost should the insured die before retiring. While this is an important use of life insurance, it is hardly the only one. People with this view often believe there is no need for life insurance after retirement. For some people, this one-dimensional view of life insurance may be accurate if they have planned properly before retirement, and if everything goes as expected during their retirement, they may not need life insurance. Unfortunately, this is the exception rather than the rule. Events seldom go exactly as we have hoped, and planned. People who retired recently probably didn't expect that the stock market would go up and down like a yo-yo, that real estate values would drop sharply, or that the United States and Europe would have financial crises that would impact the value of their retirement accounts. Sadly, unexpected things happen all the time. Life insurance death benefits can provide a financial cushion, or margin of safety to maintain the financial security for the people we love, regardless of when we die. disasters can strike after we retire just as easily as they can while we are working. We need to understand that as we retire from the workforce, we are moving from one set of potential financial problems to another. Retirement is a new stage in life that has new financial goals. It involves moving from the asset accumulation stage of life to the asset income protection phase. In retirement, we want to stop working for an income ourselves, and allow the assets we've saved to generate the income we need to live on. In this new stage, we may have different goals and objectives. Many retirees will want to focus on preserving their assets, and manage them in a way that maximizes the income they produce, while minimizing the potential for loss. Married retirees, and unmarried retirees with significant others, may want to preserve assets and maximize income over two lives instead of just one. Life insurance may be able to help them, have a review of your existing life insurance coverage, and discuss whether additional life insurance might help you protect your loved ones, and achieve your wealth transfer goals. These discussions should be ongoing, because the ability to purchase life insurance coverage depends on a person's overall physical and mental condition. If a person's health deteriorates, coverage may become too expensive or unavailable. Planning for retirement, whether that's five years away or 25 years down the road, is something each of us needs to consider. Making smart choices about how much money you save and what retirement planning savings vehicles you use can mean the difference between having the income you need in retirement to live the lifestyle you want or struggling financially. So whether you have or haven't started saving for retirement, here's a timeline that we use. At each age, there are certain milestones we want to have achieved. At age 50, this is the catch-up period. 
a person can contribute more money to their qualified plans. At age 55, you can consider early retirement and start to draw from your 401k. You'll be taxed ordinary income tax with no penalty. You can roll over a portion of these distributions into an IRA and continue to earn tax deferred. At age 59 and a half, you'll be able to take withdrawals from your IRA without penalty and at age 62, if you wish, you can file for Social Security. The amount of your benefit will be less than if you decide to wait, but you will have that option. At age 65, you are eligible for Medicare. By age 70, if you haven't already elected Social Security, this is the time to act. At age 70 and a half, you'll need to start receiving distributions from your IRA to avoid a 50% penalty. So, how do we use life insurance for retirement? Let's take a look at some strategies. How to use your life insurance for retirement. When most people think of life insurance, the tax-free policy proceeds that are paid out to the policyholders named beneficiaries when he or she dies are what usually come to mind. However, life insurance can be useful in other ways also, including helping you plan for your own retirement years. Life insurance products can be an important part of your retirement plan, offering security and certain guarantees for some of your accumulated nest egg. Two popular insurance vehicles that can double as retirement tools, include annuities and indexed universal life insurance policies. Annuities Annuities have been common retirement planning vehicles for decades. When you purchase an annuity, you are buying a life insurance product that has two distinct phases. The first phase is known as the accumulation phase, during which you can either make a lump sum deposit, and watch the assets grow at a guaranteed rate, or make periodic deposits over months or years, seeing your annuity balance rise as your retirement date approaches. During the accumulation phase, your money grows tax deferred. When you're ready to flip the switch, you can turn to the annuitization phase and choose from a variety of payout options. When you annuitize your contract, you'll start getting periodic payouts, creating an income stream to pay you at predetermined intervals. This can be used to supplement other sources of retirement income, like social security and pension plan payments, providing you with the extra money you need, so that you can meet your financial obligations, and have funds to live the retirement lifestyle you desire. Indexed Universal Life Insurance Another type of insurance product frequently used for retirement planning is indexed universal life insurance. IUL policies provide permanent life insurance coverage, as long as the policy is kept in force. As is true with other permanent life insurance products, IUL policies include a separate cash value component inside the policy, which can be used to accumulate savings. The indexed part of IUL means that policyholders can index or tie their cash value to a financial market index. Although the cash value is not invested directly into the stock market, if the underlying financial market is going up, the policy's cash value will rise proportionately. IUL policyholders also have some downside protection with a guaranteed minimum interest rate. This means you don't have to worry about losing your entire cash value fund if markets take a prolonged downturn. 
and, IUL policies still have a guaranteed face amount of death benefits that will be paid to the policyholder's named beneficiary, at the time of death of the insured. Making life insurance part of your retirement plan can provide peace of mind. There are a lot of options when it comes to setting aside money for your retirement years. Life insurance should not be considered a replacement for 401k or other employer-sponsored retirement plans, however, it can be a great way to supplement your traditional retirement plan accounts. One of the reasons people choose annuities or IUL policies as part of their retirement plans, is to take advantage of the peace of mind these tools provide. The guarantees that come with insurance products, combined with attractive contract, or policy features, can mean you have both the potential for growth with downside protection. To explore whether an annuity is right for you or to see if you qualify for an IUL policy, talk to us. Retirement planning is just one of many strategies involving life insurance. And we can provide more information about using life insurance for retirement and other insurance planning techniques. When you choose to work with WFGinsuranceQuotes.com, you are working with a strong team. We work with more than 200 of the most well-known and reputable insurance companies in the country. This gives us options and the ability to tailor insurance solutions to your individual needs. There is no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to saving for retirement. But, if you prefer a product that offers safety and guarantees, you may want to consider the retirement protection benefits offered by annuity products and index universal life insurance policies, known as IUL. There are many reasons for choosing retirement protection annuities and IUL products. The most common reason many people use annuities is for channeling their savings into a regular income stream during retirement. Funds from Social Security and pensions may not be enough to allow you to live the lifestyle you want when you retire. Choosing a retirement protection annuity can give you an additional paycheck every month to supplement those other income sources, giving you the funds necessary to travel, pay your expenses each month, buy gifts for loved ones, and more. In addition, IUL policies offer you the option of accumulating cash inside your life insurance policy, cash that you can use for any purpose. So, let's see how Index Universal Life policies work. When it comes to retirement planning, there are three kinds of people. The guy who doesn't think about or plan for retirement, you don't want to be that guy. The gambler type who feels the only way to grow her money is to risk losing it all in the stock market, and the play it safe type who shudders at the thought of losing a single penny of his savings, even if it means sacrificing any opportunity for that money to grow. For years, retirement planning has been vastly limited to choices that fall on one side of the scale or the other. And so, money savvy people tend to invest in two, three, 14, 50 different products in an attempt to balance the scale. But what if there was a way to capture the upside potential of a risky product and the downside protection of a secure product all in one solution? Well, hold on to your potatoes. Let's talk about IUL. Index Universal Life can harness the best parts of both sides of the financial seesaw. IUL is a form of permanent life insurance that, whoa, 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 <laughs> hang on. Life insurance has changed in the last 20 years. You know it is something that just pays out when you die. But these days, life insurance can actually be one of the most powerful wealth accumulating vehicles on the market. One huge benefit of IUL is the ability to harness the power of compound interest to potentially generate large amounts of non-taxable cash value within the policy. This cash value can be accessed later in life to fund a happy, healthy, non-taxable retirement. Your IUL's performance directly reflects the performance of the stock market index while implementing a 0% floor and a market cap, usually around 10%. So your cash value participates in the growth of the market up to the cap and sits safely on the sidelines when the market goes down. 
you forego some of the upside to alleviate all of the downside. So, zero is your hero. With IUL, you won't spend a single day of your accrual making up for losses. Pretty cool, right? Well, it gets better. When designed properly, IUL can serve as a retirement vehicle based on a financial chassis of life insurance protection. And because of IRS tax code exemptions for life insurance, your cash value can create a tax advantaged way to generate more income in retirement. That's something your 401k or IRA simply can't offer. So what might an IUL look like for you? Let's talk specifics. Larry here is in decent health, a non-smoker, and contributes $500 a month to his IUL starting at age 35. This contribution is conservatively projected to generate $500,000 of cash value by the time Larry retires at age 65. If he chooses to, Larry can turn on a non-taxable income stream from his IUL, giving him $60,000 of income per year to supplement his retirement. And the longer he waits to access this money, the larger it can grow. That death benefit is even accessible when Larry's still living if he suffers a critical, chronic, or terminal illness. So if Larry gets sick, he's covered. If he dies unexpectedly, his family is covered. And if neither of those things happen, the money Larry's paid into his IUL over the years can fund a happy, healthy, tax-advantaged retirement. Assuming Larry lives to age 90, he will have contributed a total of $186,000 into his IUL, drawn out $1.5 million in non-taxable retirement income, and still leave behind a very sizable tax-free death benefit for his heirs. The person who shared this video with you can show you what an IUL might look like for you given your specific age, health, contribution level, and retirement plans. Contact them today to get the specific numbers. Planning for retirement is a lot like putting a jigsaw puzzle together. Every decision you will make in one area of your financial life will have an impact on the others. Factors like how long you will work and how much you have saved will greatly influence your ideal retirement. Challenging your existing beliefs and analyzing what you have in place to make your retirement happen gives you the opportunity to make informed decisions. I'm going to share my screen and show you how you can run your own IUL quote and apply without an agent. Right now, our platform hosts the John Hancock Accumulation IUL. Additional carriers will be added in the future. So, with the John Hancock Accumulation IUL, it offers much improved retirement income potential, strong downside protection in lower return years, and an updated indexed account option with a guaranteed multiplier beginning in year one. They've also added the John Hancock Vitality Program, which offers valuable rewards and discounts for living a healthy life. So, Here's how to apply. Did you know that there is a simple way to instantly quote and compare multiple life insurance products online? Now you have the ability to apply for life insurance whenever you choose to without the need to speak to an agent. To get started, type in your first and last name, followed by your gender, then input your general health. If you use or have used tobacco or marijuana, height, weight, date of birth, and just like that, you will be given an instant insurance quote. Or if you are unsure how much insurance you need, you can use the calculator tool. By filling in your mortgage balance, debts, college planning needs, existing insurance, and savings will give you an approximate benefit need, and you can easily update the quote. For this example, we're going to select a 20-year quote. The next page will show you a recommended life insurance product based on your input terms. You have options to customize the policy to fit your needs best. And if you scroll down, other products by different carriers will be displayed so you can compare all your options. When ready, click Apply in Minutes, and you will begin to fill out a digital application. It starts by asking for basic contact information, mailing addresses, employment information, if you are the owner of the policy, and if it's going to be owned by an individual, business, or trust who the beneficiaries are, and their information, if you would like to include a contingent beneficiary, and your financial information. You will then be asked to fill out a health-based questionnaire. Please make sure to fill it out as accurately as possible to make sure that your case doesn't have any issues. If your policy requires an exam, 
You will see a calendar giving you the ability to schedule a time for a health examiner to meet with you at your convenience. Once all this has been completed, a digital application will be generated for you to sign via DocuSign. You can choose to draw your own signature in or use the one that DocuSign provides. Once the application is filled, it will be submitted and you will be contacted if any additional information is required. It's a quick, easy way to get the protection you need whenever it works best for you. I hope everyone can see my screen. I've logged on to my website, wfginsurancequotes.com, and if you're interested in getting an annuity quote, simply come over here to Quotes, scroll down to Life and Financial Quotes, and then click on Annuity Quotes. It'll take you to the Annuity Quote page. Right here, you just enter in your information. Once you submit it, we'll start to work on your quote. All right? But we're going to come back to the home page. Right here, we've got Get Your Rate Now. I'm going to click on that button, and it will take us to the Life Insurance Quote and Apply page. It automatically drifts down, but you can scroll up or down. No worries. All right, and if at any time you need help or would prefer that an agent run the quote, simply click right here, free agent quote, and it'll take you to this page. All right, it'll take you to this page, and then you would just scroll down to the bottom and enter in your information and request a free, no obligation life quote. I work with four other agents, so between the four of us, we're able to cover the entire United States, all right? Each of us have different licenses for different states, but between the four of us, we cover all 50 states, all right? So we're going to come back over here to our quote and apply page, and just like the previous video showed you, enter in your name, your gender, your health class. You'll get to the nicotine and marijuana use page. Now, on this page, because marijuana is legal in a lot of states, they're going to have different guidelines and regulations from state to state and from carrier to carrier. But if you'll make a note that John Hancock and Prudential are our best carriers for marijuana use and for smokers. Okay, all right, so just going to keep going, add your height and weight, date of birth, all right, and you'll get to your quotes, all right, and you can use this slider, you can slide your quote down and get another rate, or you can slide it up goes all the way up to ten thousand I mean ten million dollars. So you have that option to see different rate quotes. And of course you can use the calculator if you're not quite sure about how much coverage you actually need. Okay. All right. So I just want to go over the different permanent policies right quick. Um, here on the right you've got final expense guaranteed universal life, index universal life with a long-term long care rider, excuse me. All right, so with guaranteed universal life, it's very similar to term insurance. It gives you guaranteed premiums, guaranteed death benefits, and it goes up to the age of 100, and in some cases, depending upon the carrier, even up to the age of 120. All right, so this is going to give you coverage to the end of life with term rates. So it's a little less expensive than whole life policies. Um, there is little to no cash value in guaranteed universal life, but if you were interested in getting a policy that would cover you to the end of life, um, but was a little cheaper, you can run this rate quote, okay? Uh, with final expense, this is anything from $5,000 of coverage 
to $40,000. Pretty much what we're going to look at for end of life coverage. And this is available from ages 45 through 82. All right. And this is what we came here for, Index Universal Life. All right. So once you click on that, you can select your monthly premium. And this is going to show you the accumulation value on 15 years and 20 years. All right. So whatever amount you're able to put in, that's what it will calculate at. All right. And then you can select the term period, be it, um, see, as soon as I selected something a little less, it gave me now 10 pay. All right. So you'll be able to see different, different strategies, excuse me. You'll be able to see different strategies based on what you're able to afford, but that's the main point. You find something that you're comfortable with that will fit within your budget and that will still allow you to reach your financial goals. All right. And at any time, um, feel free to reach out to us. We can help you with different strategy guidelines and give you different options that aren't available on this platform. All right. Um, but for now, John Hancock is our primary insurer for Index Universal Life Plans. We do have other carriers that are pending. All right. And as soon as they are approved, they will be added to the platform as well. All right. So that's it. You can run your quotes and apply in as little as 10 minutes. And if you need any help, you can give us a call or click on that um, free quote button and we'll be happy to help.